Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech and ROM Reviews. Uh, I am Dave Hayes and I am going over DOT OS or DOT OS. Uh, this is a request review video. Um, I wanted to let you guys see what comes splashed. Uh, there are a couple on here that I put on myself uh, like Magisk and Kernel Auditor Mod. Uh, I am running with um, Popcorn Kernel because a new release V1.5 uh, was released last night and I am testing it. Um, I did test this with the supplied kernel. Everything works great. Uh, no encryption. Um, it's just working pretty good, guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and go into the settings. And I did not theme this. Uh, this is an onboard theme engine. Uh, it works very well. Remember, um, some of these on built-in or onboard theme engines will automatically disappear or stop working once you install Substratum. And the way Substratum has been running lately, uh, especially in Oreo, I don't even use it anymore. Um, quite frankly, uh, most of these custom ROMs have their own uh, theme engine built into Oreo, uh, and it works great. Now, it doesn't, you know, um, theme the Play Store and Google Plus and stuff like that. But, for the most part, Substratum hasn't been doing that either. Um, I don't know what it is, whether it's with the themes themselves or whether it is with the theme engine, but I don't even use it anymore, guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to um, System and then About Phone, let you guys see. Uh, this is .OS for the Nexus 6. Um, there's all the information about the ROM, baseband version, kernel. You guys can see I'm running uh, Popcorn V1.5. Again, guys, I, have, I can't stress this enough. The supplied kernel works great. Um, you should you should usually run the supplied kernel unless you know what you're doing. If you're an advanced flasher uh, or ROM, you know you you're an advanced user, then you know go ahead and flash a custom ROM if you want. But if you have any issues, do not report the issues to the .OS team until you've done a clean install of just the ROM with the supplied kernel. All right, we're going to get into the custom features on this. Um, they are under uh, .UI and .extras. Now the .UI center, that is the theme uh, center. You guys can customize it by going here. Um, you know, pick your overlay color, your access color, you know, miscellaneous settings. When, when you're done, make sure to check the uh, check mark on each one of those. That will save it. Uh, and that's how you theme this. Um, you can also go here, which is just your customized interface, your color uh, settings, which is basically the same. Um, you know, yeah, so that's how you use that. Uh, all the custom settings are under dot extras. Uh, I also wanted to mention I'm using the screen recorder, uh, AZ screen recorder. Um, I just decided to go with old school on this one. Um, for some reason, the AZ screen recorder app hasn't been working right in Oreo. Uh, but I do test it with each ROM. It's been working great with this one, so I decided to go ahead and use it. Um, I just think it shows the color uh, a little bit better. I know I've had some complaints. Uh, people actually like to see the phone um, on video so they can see how the phone looks <laughs> as opposed to just what the screen looks like. Um, but I, I don't know. I just decided to go with the screen record uh, for this one. That doesn't mean I'm going to switch back to screen record again. AZ screen recorder hasn't been working very well with Oreo on a lot of the ROMs. So uh, we're going to go into status bar, uh, battery icon. You can pick between several different uh, icons. Um, and then, of course, uh, your show battery percentage is there. Clock and date. Uh, they do give you a center clock. Thank goodness for that. Uh, but you can go right or left. Uh, AM, PM, date, date format, date. Uh, style and and your date position uh, status bar items this is where you pick and choose what you want to show on your status bar traffic indicators uh, do you want your data showing coming in or going out uh, tick that on and that will show that uh, right up there where I have my temperature uh, which is kind of a little crowded uh, I think I'm gonna fix that right now Uh, since I don't have my SIM card in this one, uh, I'm done testing as far as phone calls are going. I put it back in my Pixel 2 XL. Um, I just went ahead and shut shut off the data showing in the status bar. Uh, that way, 
you know, I can have my temperature and everything else showing. Uh, next up is going to be the miscellaneous extras. Uh, your roaming indicators, status bar, uh, double tap to sleep, and of course your brightness control by sliding your finger across the status bar. Uh, then under notifications, this is going to be where you have your heads up, uh, force expanded notifications, and all of that. Of course, I always turn my heads up off. Um, then to go back to the uh, custom settings, you want to hit that go back. Next up is going to be your nav bar. Uh, I am running um, with the smart bar. Uh, you can go fling if you want. Uh, these are the fling settings here. And again, guys, I don't use fling. So I'm not even going to try to say that I know what all these settings are for. Uh, I can navigate my way through it. Uh, I just prefer to use smart bar. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go back into the smart bar. Uh, I'll show you smart bar settings. And I've had many videos already showing how to um, change your buttons in that smart bar. Uh, so just watch those videos. Uh, it will show you how to do it. Um, I go into really uh, a, a lot of detail. Um, so, you know, just check those out. Uh, I did a lot of them on Nougat. Nothing's really changed. So if you pull any of my Nougat reviews up, uh, you'll see how to change um, your smart bar settings. Um, this is Pulse if you guys want to run with that. Again, this is DUI settings are included with this. So, um, uh, Last but not least, you have your nav bar tuner. i got to get a drink. Um, you have your general layout. Uh, this is where you can set up the layout. You know, from right, right, left, center, all that stuff. Invert your button layout. Add extra buttons, um, extra right button type, you know, all that stuff is there. If you guys want to tweak that, you know, that's what it's there for. Go for it. Next up is going to be your quick settings. Your brightness slider, brightness icon, quick setting tiles. Uh, you have your quick pull down. Uh, I have mine set to right. You can turn that off if you want. They do have the smart pull down if you guys want to run with that. And down at the bottom are your... Uh, quick settings, rows, and columns. Uh, I am running with three rows as opposed to four like I normally do uh, because when I put that fourth row on, I lose my setting button at the very bottom right. Um, and I have to go into uh, my app drawer and hit the settings tab in order to bring up my settings. So um, I'm just running with three. It's fine. I like the way it themes. You get those round icons uh, that are colored. I think that adds an extra touch of class. Um, so good on them for that. And that's it for the quick settings. Next up is recents. This is where you can change your recents UI around if you want. That's your clear all button. Um, these are the locations they give you. Uh, immersive, I'm running, I, well, I like to run full screen. I'll show you guys what that looks like. And, of course, I have the memory bar uh, turned on for what my free RAM is at. You can shut that off right here. That's it for recents. Next up is lock screen. Double tap and lock screen to sleep. You have your face uh, auto unlock. Guys, don't ask me. I don't use that feature. I use no lock settings for my phone. Um, I've just heard horror stories of people using them, forgetting to turn them features off, going into twerp, flashing a custom ROM, and then getting stuck. I just don't use it. I don't have anything on my phone that I'm worried about people seeing, so uh, I, I never lock my phone. You guys can do whatever you want. Um, under the clock style, I'm running with uh, a Sammy Bold. Uh, and then, of course, under date style, I'm running with the trans semi-transparent box round. Uh, lock screen items. These are all the items on the lock screen. You can pick and choose whichever you want to show. And last up is going to be system. Uh, this does come with app ops. So those of you that have been around long enough to know what AppOps is, 
it's an awesome thing to have on the phone and I'm glad they have it in there uh, quite a few things you can do with that buttons are up next this is going to be where you can um, set up your power button your volume buttons uh, basically your heart your hard buttons um, so under power menu uh, they have quite a few fe features that you can pick and choose from uh, again the top section is for the screen on bottom section is for your lock screen options uh, and then pretty much basic after that uh, as far as lock screen settings go or uh, as far as buttons go uh, next up is going to be your general tweaks can't talk right today um, toast icon if you guys want to run with it uh, sensor block for package uh, your launch music app, all of that's there. Um, and of course, uh, vibration controls, which I kind of like that as well. It goes a little more in depth uh, for what you can do as far as the vibrations go on your phone. Plus, they have that three finger gesture, which I love that. Uh, three finger swipe down, that'll give you a screenshot, which it just took. Um, and of course, battery charging light. You can go in here and set up how you want your lights to show as far as charging goes. And last but not least is going to be weather, and this is where you set up the weather on the device uh, server. That's under service settings, um, and then uh, condition icon pack, uh, and then your status bar weather. Um, I have mine to show a temp with scale, uh, so I can actually see what the temperature is outside right on my status bar, and I do love that feature. Uh, I kind of miss it when a ROM does not have that. That is it for the custom settings. Um, I am going to go into the display quickly. I'll let you guys see that uh, under advanced, um, you know, auto rotate screen, all that's there. Font size, display size. I am running one larger than default as far as display size goes. Uh, my font I'm running uh, right on as flashed. Um, they do have a theme system in here as well. Um, I'm running orange right now. Uh, basically, pick the color you want it'll change I could go to red if I wanted uh, everything will turn to red um, just give it a second it will uh, then under that you have your UI style and basically that's your background ha 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 I wonder why I did that there it is okay it just took a little bit second all right uh, under UI style I am running with the black UI I actually set that up in the theme that I was showing you guys earlier um, but you can set it up in here too uh, you have your dashboard conditions um, ambient display options I, sh I run with no ambient display it just saves on battery um, but you guys obviously you can do whatever you want with that I need another drink I can't talk right And I'm guessing some of you guys are wishing I would just shut up anyways. <laughs> uh, root management's on there. Um, that is if you flash a root uh, such as Super User or uh, Magisk. Uh, I am running with Magisk, Magisk uh, version 16.4. I did have to flash it um, again after I set my ROM up. Um, I did it in the initial flash. It didn't show up. Uh, so I set the ROM up, and then I rebooted back to recovery, and I reflashed it, and it came right up. Sound is up next. Uh, these are your sound settings. They do have the link, ring, and notification volume. Uh, I love that feature because I can turn my notifications down, have my ring volume all the way up. Um, so I'm glad they have that in there under advanced. Uh, these are going to be where you set up your ringtone notifications, your notification sound. Uh, your alarm sound and then of course you can pick and choose what you actually want um, to have on your phone as far as sounds and notifications go uh, security and location uh, quickly I want to show you guys that um, I am not encrypted as you guys can see it says to encrypt phone under encryption now if I would be encrypted right now it would say encrypted underneath encryption uh, I did flash the FED patch uh, V8. I highly recommend that uh, you do as well uh, if you want to keep from getting encrypted. Um, I'm not saying that this ROM will. I just do it no matter what. And that's basically it. I'll go into the 
uh, developer options let you guys see that quickly um, it's pretty basic uh, I didn't see anything in here that stood out um, above any of the other ROMs out there uh, I did notice though that under the drawing as far as animation scale goes each one of those are set to one uh, I think that's kind of a lot um, but again guys that depends on your taste I don't like any animations um, I it the, the less animations you run with, the faster your phone runs. So, um, I shut them all off, and it really does speed the phone up a lot. Guys, that's it. That's .OS uh, for the Nexus 6, and this is uh, Android version 8.1.0. Uh, I think they did an outstanding job with this ROM. Uh, I really like it. I like the way the UI is laid out, especially uh, in the uh, custom settings. I like the inbuilt theme um, engine that they have in this. Uh, and I can highly recommend uh, you guys to give it a try. Um, before you ask me, uh, I didn't test Volt. I don't test it. Uh, I don't use Volt. Um, so I don't know if it works on this device or not. Uh, any questions like that you want to ask in the XDA thread, uh, which I'll be linking in the bottom of this uh, video in the description. Um, if you like the video, guys, give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Uh, I want to thank all of my subscribers. You guys are awesome, and I will see you on the next one.